All right, so this is going to be a lesson talking about polyrhythms in music. Now, um, in case you don't already know, a polyrhythm is a kind of rhythm which doesn't divide evenly into each other or into itself. So if you have, like, say, two eighth notes um, and then a chord note, that's not a polyrhythm because two eighth notes fits nicely in the chord note and they subdivide into each other. If, for example, you had two eighth notes over um, triplet, an eighth note triplet, that would be an example of a polyrhythm. Those three notes in the triplet go over the two notes in the eighth notes. Um, so that's basically what a polyrhythm is. Now, when I was at Berkeley, I took a class with this guy named Dave Clark, who's an amazing musician, and he, uh, he taught this class called Advanced Rhythmic Concepts. And from day one, we were expected to be able to perform all of these really complicated polyrhythms. And if you've never really been explained the process of achieving these polyrhythms, it is completely daunting and, and impossible. Fortunately, he gave us an unbelievably easy way of doing it and practicing it. And, you know, by the midterm, we were doing like six over seven and all sorts of really bizarre things in addition to a lot of other classwork. So I'll show you the basic premise of it. Let's start with a basic one over two polyrhythm, or uh, two over three polyrhythm. The way we're going to do this is say we're doing uh, two over three. So um, we're going to come up with two rows. And I'm going to write big here. And we're going to write the numbers one, two, three in two rows, like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now, uh, my left hand on the right side of the screen is going to clap or tap whenever there's the one. And then my right hand is going to tap whenever I draw a circle. Now, I'm going to draw a circle since we drew two rows, two rows of three. I'm going to draw a circle every two times. So check this out. So I'm going to draw a circle on the one, one, two, three. One, two, two. So one, two, one, two, one, two. So check this out. This is how it's going to work. I'm going to clap on the ones. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Do it a little slower. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then this hand is going to clap on the one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. I noticed that this hand was doing three and this hand was doing two. And I, was, I achieved that by uh, counting this. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Like that. Let's try a little more difficult one. Now, I was able to do it and a lot of other um, students were able to do it even without that. But then once we were faced with like three over seven, we were, what the hell? So check this out. This is going to be three over four. This is another pretty common one. It's a little difficult. Um, but check it out. So let's say three over four, so that means three rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, like that, right? So now we're going to draw a circle. Let's see, uh, let's see if we can see that. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this hand's tapping uh, on the ones, and this one's going to be on the circles. So one, two, three, four, 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 one, two. It's hard for me to count <laughs> and tap, and I'm holding this with these hands. But yeah, so there you got that. Alright, so let's try one more that's even a little bit more difficult. Let's do three over five, okay? Um, so, uh, one, two, three. Let's do th uh, five rows of three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, like that. One two three one two three one two three one two three one two three, 
and then let's count circles for five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this hand again on the ones. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. 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 So, you get the picture. That's how you're going to be able to practice any kind of polyrhythm. Now, those ones were moderately simple, and we weren't really able to get some of the faster ones really up to speed. And neither was he. Uh, that, was, that was the cool thing, is he was able to come up with a system of practicing it, um, even if you know, he wasn't able to do it perfectly, and neither could we. So anyway, um, yeah, that was my, that's my system 